Yes, so breaking a sweat without moving, that's the life of millions of Americans right now who are enduring the sweltering heat. A lot of people don't even have uh, their air conditioning inside or a fan or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. super hot during this heat wave we're experiencing right now in Northeast Ohio. That's right, the heat so uncomfortable, it's putting some fitness goals on the back burner. Joining us now this morning is good friend. We're going to talk summer fitness with uh, Dr. Mark Gilnoff from the Cleveland Clinic this morning. Doctor, always good to see you. Your wealth of information. All right, we're talking about working out in the summertime. Some of the dangers. Yeah. I think the key thing is to do it. Or as Nike would say, just do it. Just okay. do it. Okay. okay. You, um, so don't be discouraged because it's hot outside. Yeah, but plan. Okay. Plan your workout. Do it not between noon and three when the sun is at its highest point and it's super hot. Okay. Um, get, I got up early this morning, and six o'clock, you, you worked do? out. Um, I was inside on a rowing machine, well, that ain't but I, I made a plan yeah. mm -hmm. and did it. It was air conditioned, our air conditioning is still working. But as long as you've got a plan, you can definitely do it safely. If you want to go out at noon for a five mile run, that is a really difficult thing to do and unnecessary. Do that at 6 a.m., do it at 4 p.m. Or when you're driving home, you see all these people with their bicycles yeah. who are slowing down traffic. Yeah. Why are they doing that during rush hour? Because? Because it's cooler out okay. and it's safer for them. Okay. So I usually, when I'll go out for a walk, I don't bring water, but I'm going to now. And I am just started doing that. And if I take the dogs or probably not taking the, the definitely not the one dog, but the, the little one, bring him water <laughs> right, too. Right. So it's important to hydrate when you're out there. Yeah, every half hour you want to knock off about six to 10 ounces of water. So that's a lot, a glass of water every half hour. That's a lot of water. Yeah, there's a lot of water. Yeah, but you can bring one of these uh, nice size containers of water. Mm -hmm. And I even see people running with these water vests on. Yeah. Where they've got a little straw that oh, goes to their mouth. See, yeah. yeah, I mean, of course, that's if you're out running 10 miles, but the truth is, if you can get out and walk for a half hour at a nice clip, that's good exercise. Yeah. But as you said, the key is doing it, you know, when it's not hot outside. But what if you do that? I mean, what are some of the things that can happen to you, some of the complications? If you do it when it's really hot, first thing you want to do is make sure you prehydrate. Okay. So have a good glass of water before you go out. Have every 30 minutes to every 60 minutes another 6 to 10 ounces. And if you're going to be out more than an hour, have some sort of electrolyte drink. What kind, what kind uh, of dangers though, are, are we posing to our bodies if we do something like this? If we're out there doing... You know, well, the first step um, in the sort of progression of bad things that okay. can happen is okay. called heat exhaustion. Okay. And at that point, you're dehydrated, your electrolytes are a little bit off because you've been sweating sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. And what happens to you? You feel sort of woozy, you're mm -hmm. overheated, okay. you're sweating a lot, maybe some nausea, sick to your stomach. And those symptoms are a sign, stop, okay. get in the shade, drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't stop, or keep going, then you can develop a life-threatening condition called heat stroke. Yeah. And heat stroke, it's not a stroke in the normal sense. Heat stroke is a condition that is life-threatening. At that point, your body loses the ability to regulate its temperature, and your body overheats. You can get to 100, 300, 405 degrees. When that happens, your liver stops working well, wow. your heart stops that's, working that's well, well, your kidneys begin to fail. And that is a true life-threatening call 911 emergency. And it stresses, puts a lot of extra stress on the heart, the heart that can yeah. be damaging too. Yes. So it's not like, well, just push through it because it's hot, you're mm -hmm. okay. This can have life, a life impact on you. Yeah, don't push through it. Every year we hear these stories of football players in August who are told, mm -hmm. come on, just push mm -hmm. through it. Mm -hmm. Don't push through it. The bottom line, don't stop exercising, just adapt. Yes, yeah, adapt and plan. And hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate. hydrate. Yeah. Okay. All Thank right. you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate You're it. welcome.